Hey everybody, Claude Diamond here with another gut sales moment. You're gonna love this story. I love winners. I love success for it stories, real ones. Not that, not that guru nonsense you hear sometimes. This is a real, this is Chris Scott, and Chris just did a hell of a deal. Chris, you have the floor. Tell everybody what, tell me everybody your story. Tell how much did you make? Just up front. <laughs> well, um, I made sixty thousand. That's six. Wait, 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 well, 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 zero, 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 zero. You got it. Yeah, it's not like you just walked down the street and found a dime. Say it with say it with panache. Uh, uh, sixty thousand. <laughs> that that's you, real you. money, man. That's real oh, money. Man. How'd you do it? Guts. I, I use guts the entire <laughs> time, Claude. I, I no no lie, stroking and nurturing. Um, I I was calling prospects. I got the guy on the phone. Hey, you, you wouldn't be interested in selling that house, would you? Uh, well, yeah. Give me two hundred thousand. Oh, let's pretend I say yes to that, sir. Can, can, can you sign a contract today? Uh, yeah, I'll sign it today. Okay, great. I'll meet you at the property, sir. Uh, he his price was already a, a great deal. Yeah, uh, at two hundred thousand, it was still a great deal. I sold the house. Uh, um, uh, I ended up selling the house for two sixty. Did so, you sell the house? Sorry to interrupt. Did you sell the house or sell the contract? Did you do an ar Did you do an a guts arbitrage deal, or did you just sell the whole house complete? Absolutely no. I did a guts arbitrage deal. I, I wholesaled the property to another buyer. I double closed. Uh, I used um, God. I love this transactional funding. Oh. Um, and uh, yeah, I did a complete arbitrage. And and, and how much time did you have involved in this? Oh, exactly. About 45 days. I set the contract out for 30 days. We had to do an extension because he had some uh, bankruptcy issues uh, and his property was behind on some taxes as well. So uh, that prolonged our closing some, but exactly 45 days, December, the middle of December, I got, I, I got the contract. Uh, middle of January, we were getting ready to close. End of January, we closed on the property. I love, I love this. So when you got him on the phone the first time, then you went to the property. How soon after you saw the property did you get a signed contract? Uh, Claude, in guts, you tell us we don't go to the property unless we know you we're getting a contract. You're not allowed to use my own shit against me. Okay. <laughs> I stand so, corrected. I love it. My I knew. Students, uh, my I students knew at are that getting point. smarter than me. <laughs> Absolutely. I knew at that point, once I had him on the phone, you know, the conversation was a little longer, but I used my timer uh, with my three minute timer. And, uh, you know, once I qualified him, I found out he was a qualified lead. He was ready to do business. I asked him the question several times, sir, once I get there and we agree upon price, it's, uh, let's pretend I can give you this 200,000. Are you ready to do a contract? He's like, I'm not sure. I, I understand what you mean, sir. If we can agree on two hundred thousand, are you ready to move contract and move forward and sign a contract with me today? Yeah, he said uh, yes. I'll be ready to sign it. So when I got there, I said, "Yeah, it looks like I like everything. I can't do two hundred. I'll do two eighty-five." He said, "All right, I'll do that." And we inked it up right then and there. I left with the contract. Okay, you uh, one eighty-five or two eighty-five? I think. Yeah, no, 185. Well, so, you said two, okay, you said 285. I said you didn't go up in price. You came down to 185. So you made yeah. another, they dropped it another 15,000. Absolutely. Dropped okay, it so then you got a side contract. So literally from a phone, one phone call, we call that the one phone call guts close. Skim the, skip the scripts, skip the begging, skip the kumbaya. How about that Super Bowl? And just get right to the meat and potatoes, right? Right to the meat and potatoes. I yeah. love that. And then you went to the property. You got it. The guy liked you. He trusted you. You put it together. You developed that rapport. You got a signed contract that on the second meeting. Uh, yes. The first meeting was the phone. Second meeting was in person. I yeah. loved it. I love this. You did your due diligence. You knew your prices uh, and on that. Now, this is the part I'm sure people are dying to hear. What did you do? You sold that contract. Give us the, can you mind sharing that part or is this a little too much sharing here? Uh, no, absolutely. What, what, what would you like to know? I'd like to know, where'd you find the guy? What did you do to find the investor or somebody else who wanted to live in the private? What did you do to find them? And how long did it take to, how long did it take to you found a buyer who made you that $60,000? 
Absolutely. Great question. Uh, so, Claude, I sent it out to, uh, well, I got on the phone. And, you know, I, I gave you a call. And you said it's time to hustle, uh, sir. It's time to get on that phone and, and make some calls. And I got on the phone. I made a ton of calls. And um, Who did I had you call? Few, Who'd you uh, call? Investors that I have, you know, in, in my network. I've been doing this for not long, but just long enough to have a few people in my Rolodex. I made some calls. Uh, I asked people, hey, do you know anybody be interested in this deal? I, I didn't really find anybody from my network, but I reached out and I, you know, I think of other investors in my uh, neck of the woods or my neighborhood. As Did you use social media? Uh, no, not on this transaction. Okay. I reached out to one of my uh, good buddies of mine who's also a real estate investor and uh, I told him, hey, I got this smoking hot deal. And uh, I know you have been doing this 10 years. Let's partner on the deal. If you can bring me a buyer, I'll be willing to do 20% spread with you on the deal. So okay. in actuality, um, this was a real home run. The actual spread was about an 80,000 spread. But since he, my partner brought the buyer, I gave him 20% and I was a, he was able to get a, roughly about 18,000. I walked away with about 60 something thousand unbelievable god i love and what's the time frame from when you got the contract signed to when you found your partner and boom you got paid what what was the time frame on all this um this is roughly 45 days man. 45 days wait a second 45 days for sixty thousand dollars that's a hell of a lot of walmart greeting or making coffees at starbucks man that is amazing to me and Absolutely. wow and how many total hours do you think your actual work hours do you think you put into this actual work hours maybe um 20 hours uh 20 actual hours. work hours yeah uh i went to the property a couple times to meet with buyers um uh i um talking to uh, other buyers looking for prospects talking to other investors um and it might not i i don't want to be you know too small on that amount but 20 hours may be you know more than what i actually spent on that wow. deal. but uh not a lot at all it was a very this was this deal was just like divine intervention it just dropped out of the sky i knew what to say at the right time thanks to you know guts and my guts coming <laughs> through Thank you. Flat, stroking and nurturing will get you everywhere with me. Absolutely. Yeah, well, it's That's actually right. made a difference you in learned, my sales. You learned how to give good phone. You yes. got right to the point. You were honest. You were direct. You asked questions. You were the authority figure. You stroked. You nurtured. You told stories. And here you are. Um, what, did, uh, what did the missus say when you uh, came home with $60,000? What was that like? That, uh, that was awesome. Um, so I actually did a little something special. Uh, she didn't know what the exact closing date was. So um, I closed the property. I took some cash out and uh, I came home with a, a, a bag full of cash and I just kind of threw it on the bed and said, hey, let's go to the spa. Oh yeah. my God, a, go a, money a money bath. Yeah, let's go hang out. <laughs> Honey, exactly. let's take a bath with Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. And you have a new little you have a new little girl though too, don't you? Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I guess so she's about about a lot of pampers. Yeah, I get a lot of pampers, man. I guess she's going to Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send I'm gonna send her to uh I'm gonna send her to Guts. Uh, the, Guts for, the Guts Academy for the Guts Academy for exceptional children of my mentees. He's gonna be the next best salesman. That is cute. And that is, you know, I, you were, you, and you've been in, what are you doing different? That's the last question. Can I ask, can I ask you that question or you got to go? Uh, no. Um, last question. What are you, last question. What are you doing different today that you weren't doing a year ago? Cause there was a little bit of struggle here. Yeah. The, um, the struggle was with me internalizing guts because you have to have a uh, different, way of thinking with guts because now we're, we're so used to being subservient to the prospect, but now you're the authority figure. And that comes with some, uh, uh, you're going to have to get used to how that feels with you being the authority over the sellers, not begging for the order, not 
you know, being submissive, uh, but you're actually being an authority. So that came with role playing. That came with just keeping my head in the guts material. And um, now I have the confidence. Now I know exactly Ooh. what to say. Um, and if, if they're motivated or they have at least a, a little motivation, I know how to exaggerate that motivation and I know how to pull it out of them. Uh, the only thing I've been doing different is just making more phone calls using guts. I, I, I'm, actually, I'm the authority on the call. I fire the prospect and, and it's fun. And I look forward to making those calls every day. I th you're what a success story you are. It's fantastic. And I love the word you use confidence. Do you think now that you, you've done this, this monster deal, 60,000 is an enormous amount of money for one deal. Um, you, your confidence is up. Now you can make more phone calls, speak more assertively because you have the experience, both good and bad. Absolutely. And now, now what do you see for the rest of 2019? Well, um, I got, um, how many other deals are you working on now? Are you, are you motivated or are you going to Disneyland? I was trying to show you a contract, but I got a contract today as well um, oh, wow. on a, a property in, Oak, in, in Dallas. Uh, and I also got uh, three other contracts signed this month. Uh, so, you know, uh, that's exactly how the momentum I want to carry for the rest of 2019. It's just wow. amazing. Stay on the phone, hammer out the calls, and you know, use guts. That's, that's fantastic. Your wife must be so proud. Your family must be so proud of you right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And your confidence just comes through. It just comes through. You're a different man today than you were when we first started. Well, I, I appreciate that, Claude. You, you're you a better man. You're a stronger man. And you're, you've always been a good man. But now you're, now you're a man with, who exudes confidence and leadership and you know, money, money is never going to be a challenge for you again. You have, you have, you, you have the skill set now to just get on the phone and, and, and you know that no matter where you live, as long as you have a, a communication device, you can make money. Absolutely. Your communication device. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, this, work, this works on your honeymoon, too. Um, <laughs> Derek Bahar, he's already married. I know. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to let you go. I know you're busy. Thank you for taking time out to make this little video. I just love sharing honest, real. I hate these guru BS stories or these testimonials where you know they wrote it for them or it's not. I just love real. I love honesty. I love veracity. And you, you, just, you, have, you have just motivated so many people that it can be done if they focus on the persuasion skills of guts or whatever, you know, they get on that phone and they talk to at least five people a day. And I think you've motivated so many people. You've, you've actually helped a lot of people. I know you've helped me, man. I'm, I thought I was done for the day. I'm going to make some more phone calls after this. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Chris, any, I'll give you the last word. Um, thank you so much for doing this, man. No, thank you, Claude. I want to just say thanks to you and, and everything that you've done, the, the, the information, the material, the role plays, just being there, holding me accountable. You know, I want to say thank you for that. Well, uh, you know, it's worth its weight in gold. I, you know what? The, the teacher is only as good as the students, and you're a, good, you're a great student. I, I appreciate that. Thanks thank a you. Lot. Take care. Get yourself a Hawaiian shirt, too. Celebrate a little. All right. I'll be in San Diego. Get some fish tacos. All right. You got it. On me. Take All care. right. Cool.